Hey guys, today we are going to discuss the topic of introduction of the chapter Geotechnical Engineering, 3rd SEM Civil Engineering. Myself, Assistant Professor Gaurang Prajapati from Civil Department, MGTA College, Nosari. So, let's start the discussion with the definition of soil. As per the civil engineering, soil may be defined as an uncemented or weakly cemented gathering of mineral particles which are produced by the disintegration or we can say weathering of rocks. So in simple words, soil it is soil is the definition or we can say it is the combination of weakly mineral particles which are produced by the weathering of rocks. Now According to Tezagi, who is also known as father of soil mechanics, soil mechanics is the application of flows of mechanics and hydraulics to engineering problems dealing with sediments and other unconsolidated soil particles produced by the mechanical and chemical disintegration of rocks, regards of whether or not they contain an admixture of organic constituents. Means in simple words, soil, mechanic is, soil mechanics is the application to engineering problems which usually make of we can say sediments and other solid particles which are produced by weathering of rocks weathering may be mechanical or we can say chemical now different types of soil materials soil includes widely different materials like boulders cables gravel sand sails clay etc over here in the figure i have shown some of the examples of the soil gravel is the biggest one then compared to it smaller is the sand then smaller one is silt and then clay over here we can see that just a minute see this one is the gravel this one is the sand this one is silt and clay it is quite invisible okay. over here we have shown also and over here also i have shown it so as we discuss clay is the smallest one that is this one silt that is this one and compared to bigger that is sand and gravel is this one okay then just a minute now over here in the table i have categorized the soil in three different categories very coarse soil coarse soil and fine soil starting with the first one very coarse soil it is subdivided into two parts say cobble size and bordel size first of all we will discuss about the cobble size say this one okay now if the size of the soil is between two between 80 to 300 mm then it is known as cobble size okay over here this one just a minute over here this one is the cobble size okay then second one that is boulder size that is this one again now if the size of the soil is greater than 300 mm then it is known as boulder size this one is the boulder size that is biggest one now talking about the second category that is coarse soil it is subdivided into two parts gravel size and sand size starting with the first one gravel size it is also subdivided into two parts fine and coarse aggregate now talking about fine ag fine aggregates that is over here if the soil is in between the range of 4.75 to 20 mm then it is known as fine fine coarse size and if it is in the range of 20 to 80 mm it is known as coarse gra gravel size okay over here in the figure this one is that is okay then second one that is sand size of from the coarse soils it is subdivided into three parts coarse medium and fine starting with the smallest one that is over here fine if it is in the range of 0 0.075 to 0 0.425 mm then it is known as fine sand size then if the soil is in the range of 0 0.425 to 2 mm it is known as medium sand size and if it is in the range of 2 to 4.75 mm it is known as coarse sand size over here in the figure that is this one okay now moving ahead that is third category that is fine soil it is subdivided into two parts soil size and clay size talking about the clay size if the size of the soil is less than 0.002 mm it is known as clay size and if it is in the range of 0.0002 to 0.075 it is known as sill size over here in the figure that is this one okay so in this figure i have categorized all six soils that we discuss in the table above
okay now moving further now talking about the scope of geotechnical or soil engineering the soil engineering has very large application in the construction of various civil engineering works the physical properties of soil mechanics is particularly helpful in the following problems of civil engineering the problems are the first one that is foundation design and construction second retailing structure third underground structures fourth stability of slopes fifth pavement design and sixth that is design of earth dam now let's discuss about these problems in brief starting with the first one foundation design and construction now foundation is an important element of all the civil engineering structures every structures like building bridge dam highway tunnel canal is founded in or on the surface of the earth obviously before the construction of any material we have to do the construction of foundation okay foundations are transmitting load of the structure to the soil very safely the suitability of the various types of foundation like spread foundation pile foundation deep foundation etc depend upon the soil strata load and groundwater condition over here in the figure i have shown the foundation that is this portion the portion below the soil now second one that is retaining structures the structure which retains large mass of the earth on its upstream side is called the retaining structure or we can say retaining wall also say retaining structure we can say retaining in case of retaining structure there are two kind of construction say dam and retaining wall say dam what does dam do that is it retains the water on its upstream side while what retaining wall does that is it retains soil on the upstream side over here we have seen over here see this one is the portion of soil this one is upstream side while this one is downstream side okay now example of the retaining structure a large retaining wall constructed along the sabarmati river at the river front in ahmedabad is an example of retaining structure the theory of earth pressure given by the soil engineering is required to design such kind of retaining structures over here in the figure i have shown the two examples of retaining structure first is this one and second is this one now moving further third one that is underground structure as from the figure we can easily identify that one of uh, one of the example is tunnel we can see it consists tunnels pipelines underground building which are subjected to various forces extended by soil mass a knowledge of soil structure interaction is essential to design properly such structures subjected to soil loading over here two examples are there of the underground structure now fourth stability of slope when soil surface of the structure is not horizontal such as in case of highway embankment or we can say irrigation canal the component of gravity tries to move the soil downward okay a complete knowledge of shear strength and related properties of soil is necessary to design the slope of embankment that is also known as filling or excavation over here in the figure we have shown the different exca excavation also just a minute over here and this one is we can say embankment okay now fifth one pavement design a pavement can either be flexible that is also known as bituminous road or we can say rigid that is also known as concrete road its performance depends upon the subsoil on which it rests over here in the figure i have shown the flexible pavement and rigid pavement see the sub base course is common in both the cases the this portion is different in number in both cases so this one in case of the flexible pavement it is made of bituminous while in case of rigid it is made of concrete okay the thickness of the pavement and its component parts depends upon the certain properties of the subgrade soil the soil properties such as strength and stability is very much helpful in constructing pavements on poor soils by stabilizing them okay over here i have shown the both different pavements okay and moving for the last problem that is design of earth dam the construction of an earth dam requires very thorough knowledge of the whole of the soil mechanics it requires and requires the determination of various physical properties of such so of soil such as density plasticity characteristics permeability and compaction characteristics 
suitable soil survey of nearby area is also very important or we can say necessary since huge soil mass is involved in its construction. It stores huge volume of water and its failure may cause widespread disaster. Therefore, extreme care is taken in, in its design of construction. Okay. Over here in the figure, I have shown the different typical sketch of the earthen dam. Okay. So, uh, different parameters are also shown in the figure. Starting with the first one, say this one is the basement clay, that is this one. Second, that is basement rock, that is this one. Third, that is clay core over here. Fourth is we can say filter or we can say sand. Then sand and gravel is shown over here. Then slopes that is shown over here. Okay. Then crazed gravel is shown over here. Riprap that is over here. And spillway that is over here okay now limitation of geotechnical or soil engineering now the solution of the theory of elasticity cannot be applied directly as soil does not possess a linear stress and relationship that is one of its very big limitations then moving further for the other limitations as the soil at every location is different the soil and experience from one project can not be directly applied to the other project obviously soil at the different places are different so you cannot apply the same rule over everywhere so you have to test the soils of the different area each and every time value poses over there then the third one the strength and the behavior of the soil depend on pressure drainage climate condition and many other factors fourth one the property of the soil like density pressure, shear strength, bearing capacity, etc. changes with the depth of soil. Fifth, the soil is a three-phase system consisting of solid, water and air. The behavior of soil depends upon the relative proportion of all these three phases. And the last one, the soil are very sensitive to disturbance. Thus, the results of the test conducted on the soil samples should be interpreted very carefully. And then moving over the last topic that is fundamental uses of soil. In civil engineering, soil has two fundamental uses. Number one, as a construction material, for example, highway embankment, railway embankment, earthen dam, filling in low-lying areas. And second, as a foundation that is building, bridge, highway, tunnel, canal, dam, etc. Okay. So hope you guys get all the concept about this chapter of introduction. Okay. So thank you.